Hi everybody, Simply Sweet Gemini here. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a couple months since I last saw you. Um, I just didn't get a lot done in the month of June, so I decided to just wait until uh, the end of July to share everything that I've colored with you guys. I hope everyone has been doing well. So uh, the past two months, just been busy with work and family things. So I didn't really get a chance to color too much. Um, but now that my routine's a bit more settled, I finally kind of got a chance to work coloring into everything. So today I'm going to be sharing with you both uh, June and July's completed colorings. So I did uh, some out of coloring books and a whole bunch of PDFs. So uh, let's get started. So um, these are not in any particular order, uh, just uh, I can't even remember when I really <laughs> did them. So just going to share each of them with you. So the first thing is from the Tokidoki coloring book. Um, I did this beach theme one. And whenever I do these Tokidoki pages, I try to use reference photos because I really like uh, the artist's colorful palette. So um, I try to find as many pictures and do it as closely as I can. So this one was really fun. Um, I just use fine liners and alcohol markers to do this one and just a bit of uh, gel pen. Um, another one that I did in a book was um, a Million Bears, Beautiful Bears to Color by Lulu Mayo, and I did this double spread page. So uh, this one is just of the polar bears and whales. Uh, most of this was done in the Prismacolor Scholar pencils. I used a bit of gel pen, and the background I used um, blue metallic acrylic paint. So it's got a bit of sparkle and I like that it creates a bit of texture on the page. So I used like dark blue for the ocean and then just a lighter blue for the sea foam. And I think it turned out pretty cool. I wasn't really sure what kind of color palette I wanted to go with it. So I just decided to do a rainbow one. So that was out of that one. Uh, another book that I colored in was Baby Dragons by Jade Summer. In this one, I decided to do this dragon on a beach. He's building a sandcastle. So this one was just all done in alcohol marker. And then for the sunglasses, I used um, the Sakura Jelly Roll glaze pens. So I used the black one and I think it has a really neat effect. Uh, it's the first time I was using it, so I still got to practice a bit more with it. Um, but this one was just a really simple and quick color. Perfect for the hot weather we have right now. So that was Baby Dragons. Uh, the next one that I colored was in this one. Uh, Whimsy Girls Celebrate the Holidays and Festive Occasions. And this one is illustrated by Hannah Lynn. So I purchased the PDF version and I just uh, bounded it at a print shop. So I decided to do this image and it's just the Independence Day 4th of July one. And I had lots of fun doing this. It's a really simple color palette. Um, but uh, decided to try to sparkle it up. So all of it is pretty much in alcohol markers. And then the fireworks I did using different color stickles. And I think it turned out really fun. I hope that uh, everyone had a great holiday in July. I actually live in Canada, so we don't celebrate this, but um, it was a fun page to color anyway. So that one is from that book. Uh, another Hannah Lynn image that I colored was in this one. And this is Enchanted Faces, Mermaids, Fairies, and Fantasy, uh, the pocket size coloring book. 
and this one is also by Hannah Lynn and the one that I did in here was this one I believe she's titled Rochelle it's just a mermaid um, had some fun with the tail so I did most of it again with alcohol marker and just did uh, gel pens for the details and tried blending with marker here and I think it looks okay and then the hair is just um, markers as well as the pentel dual sparkle and then I added in the stars in the background myself so this was really fun and quick to color as well uh, so now I'm gonna hop into the PDFs that I completed so um, this one is from the uh, chibi calendar the Chinese chibi calendar um, that is done by Jenny Luan so this is the year of the snake and I decided to go with more um, Egyptian color palette so I looked down line to see different photos and then this these were kind of like the more prominent colors so I did that um, most of this was done with alcohol markers uh, some gel pen and um, some stickles to highlight things um, and I also used liquid pearl on the headband she has and I think this one turned out really nice so that one was for year the snake because it's two months worth of colorings I did the year of the horse as well so this one's just a cowboy with his horse so this one was not too many embellishments here I just mostly used um, alcohol markers for it but it's a really cute image and um, there's not really too many images with boys so this one was a nice change so that one was year of the horse and then I'm going to get in some of the uh, PDFs that I colored from Yam Puff's stuff so all of these are actually uh, freebies on her website I'll put a link down below so that you can find them if you're interested so I believe this one is called Bell and Star so this one I did for one of the um, 4th of July coloring contests that she had on her site and we just had to use the 4th of July um, as the color palette so this one was really fun to do uh, most of it is just alcohol marker a bit of pencils for shading and then stickles to make everything pop and I really like the way the eyes came out for them I'm trying to work more on um, making a better blend so that one was this one. Uh, the next one I did also for another uh, coloring event on her coloring page is this cupcake girl so we had to use a um, ice cream palette to do a coloring so I decided to do it on this uh, cupcake I think this one's called cupcake girl and I decided to use the Neapolitan ice cream as the palette so it's chocolate strawberry and vanilla and uh, this one was a really simple color uh, alcohol markers gel pen and stickles on her bow <coughs> excuse me so that one was this the next one I did also from Yam Puff stuff uh, it was to enter in her day and night contest that she was having on her coloring group so this is how I colored mine so I actually won the uh, contest with the most likes in the group so that was really exciting um, this is just her day and night chibi girls so the uh, Sun and the moon all done in alcohol marker gel pen to highlight and then the back I just used 
three different kinds of acrylic paint. So I painted um, matte black first and then I used metallic blue and purple just to create an extra dimension. And it kind of turned out looking like the galaxy, which is awesome. So I really had fun doing this one and trying to get more creative with the backgrounds I do. So should be seeing more of those in my work soon. Uh, the next one that I did was for um, the Facebook group Lost in Coloring World, I think. I just joined that group uh, this past month and they were hosting some coloring competitions. So these two images are actually freebies that they had for the contest. Um, unfortunately, they've been taken down now because the winners have been announced. Um, but if you follow that group, you know they'll always have like new free pages to enter in the contest. So just keep an eye out for it if you are interested. So this image was super fun. It's called Raining Cats and Dogs and it's illustrated by Russell Hampson. So it was just a bunch of kitties and puppies and they're just raining from the sky. So it was really fun to do this one, just picking um, animal colors. So I tried to be as realistic as possible um, and, you know, do different types of cats and dogs. So I think this one turned out pretty cool. Uh, very simple to do. I just did um, alcohol markers and then I just used um, blue gel pen for the raindrops. I decided not to go with like a blue background on this just to keep it more simple. But this was really fun to do and it's a very cute illustration I think. Uh, another one that I got on that group was this mermaid picture. And this one is actually illustrated by Stephanie Sibyl or Stephanie Sibyl. Um, this one was also another coloring contest freebie. So I did her using a base of alcohol markers and then I just used a bit of pencils to do some detailing and shading. And then her tail, I just added um, different glitter pens to it to create the sparkle. The background is done with metallic um, acrylic paint to create like a bubble effect. I don't have pan pastels or um, distress ink so I find that acrylic paint is awesome to get like a nice even background uh, for a large area. So I do like the way this turned out. Unfortunately, I didn't win any of the competitions for these, but uh, the people who did one created some really lovely images. So go check that out if you are interested in looking. Uh, the next one that I colored, oh, sorry, I actually have one more Yam Puff Stuff picture here. Um, uh, that's this one. This one is the Ice Cream Sunday Girl. And uh, I just decided to do a quick color for this. I've been really enjoying doing the chibis lately. I guess um, these can all be entered as part of Jamie's Coloring Loves uh, chibi event that ran from May to July. So these are my contributions, I guess. Um, this one was just alcohol markers, uh, a little bit of pencil shading, and just gel pen. I did um, sparkle gel pen on the bottom, and then the sprinkles are the Sakura Glaze. Just to make it more realistic, and then some stickles. But this was really fun to color. She has some really great... Um, freebies on her website so if you're looking for something quick and fun to color these are it so an illustration that I colored from Christine Karen is this one this was also a free image that she has up on her website so Christine Karen shared this one with us in celebration of a publication of her newest coloring book
So this image is called Bonded. And I decided to color the grayscale version. So I really love the way that this one turned out. Um, this image, most of the work is done for you where you just uh, color in the shaded parts and just leave the rest as highlights. I think it turned out amazing. Um, so I had to go with like a simple color palette for this and uh, it was really fun to color. And again, if you are a member of her coloring group, you can go online and see some of the other really uh, talented pictures that came out of this. So I think you can still grab this on Christine Karen's website. So if you like it, then go download it and color it. Um, one coloring that I did from uh, Color and Cheeks or Daria Kackersoy is this one. Uh, this illustration is called Sweet Summer. And I just thought she was super cute. I had to purchase this image off her Etsy right when I saw it. Um, I went with a pretty simple color palette for this one. This one is actually, I think, uh, all of it is done in pencil except for her skin. So her skin I did a base of alcohol markers and just did a bit of shading. Uh, but otherwise everything else was done in pencil. So I used Black Widows as well as the Prismacolor Scholars, I believe. And I really liked the way it turned out. Super bright. These are images that I want to like color again already, even though I don't have time. <laughs> Um, but this one was really fun to do. So almost at the end here. So I have this one. This one is from Oddworks. And um, it's from the PDF book, The Adorable Circle of Life Coloring Book. So it's just a coyote and armadillo. Um, decided to make it a little more cartoony, but I'm not sure that I like the uh, fur texture I created with the markers. It's something I definitely need to work on. But um, it was one where I did just him and I really didn't like it. I was really tempted to throw it out, but I just stuck with it, did the rest, and I think it came together a bit better, um, but I'm not looking too hard at it. I don't really like it at all. Might have to recolor this one when I get a chance. But it's finished for now. Um, and then the last couple of things I want to share with you are from Hannah Lynn's Patreon. Uh, so I joined her group in April. And uh, these are some of the exclusive pages that she had the last couple of months. So uh, these are... I haven't had a chance to actually cut them out and do anything with them, but this is um, the image Catching Fireflies. And uh, these are the bookmarks and uh, trading cards. So I, I like doing these ones because A, they're like quick colors, and B, you get to kind of play around with the color palettes a bit without having to do a full picture and not enjoying something. So I decided to like really test some things out here. So I tried doing different uh, color tones, uh, using different mediums, and just uh, having fun with all of it. So for these images, I mostly used um, the alcohol markers, just a bit of pencil shading, lots of uh, gel pen and stickle highlights. So these two, I didn't really have an idea of what kind of color palette I wanted to use, but uh, these two I did. So this one was all like pretty much pastel colors. So I used the uh, Windsor and Newton Pro pastel markers on this one. And I really liked the lightness of all of it. And this one I actually was inspired by um, another colorist from Hannah Lynn's coloring group and I decided to take some of the aspects and add it to my own coloring and I really like the way it turned out. 
that's the best thing about being part of these coloring groups is just being inspired by some other artists and you know working outside of your comfort zone to do things so I really enjoyed this um, another month was this one um, this should be July and the catching fireflies was June so this one is um, genie in a bottle so again I decided to try different uh, color palettes and play around with that um, this one in particular I really love she is like after colors in the live-action Aladdin movie so I think it turned out pretty cute um, and then this one was me trying to use a more uh, cultural color palette uh, where I looked up reference photos and just kind of saw that these were really um, popular colors in a lot of the Arabian or Indian outfits so I wanted to try that and I think it turned out really nice as like a really bright color and then this one I was just doing grays and blacks and a one extra color which was blue so I tried to find all the gray toned colors so even the blues are like blue grays not like a true bright blue and I think that it turned out with a really cool effect so these ones were really fun to color and very soon I will be making them into actual bookmarks because I just recently purchased the uh, plastic bookmark sleeves so I think they're going to work really well with these instead of uh, laminating them. And then the very last thing that I colored for the month, I actually colored two versions of this but it was this picture. Um, try not to get the glare on it. This is the Hannah Lynn um, Patreon exclusive as well. This was a bonus page for the month of June. It's called Moving Day. So um, I actually colored this with alcohol markers, uh, did some pencil shading and uh, gel pen highlights, and I framed it. And it's going to be a housewarming gift because um, I do know a couple of people who have recently moved so I think that this would be a really special gift as part of their um, housewarming so this was like really fun to do and it's just a really quick easy gift so that's the last thing that I completed I didn't want to move it around too much for fear of the glare um, but anyway thank you so much for watching this fairly long video um, hopefully I'll be a bit more on track uh, at the end of August to give you an actual um, end of month uh, coloring completed video. So uh, I hope you really enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, if you haven't already, please think of subscribing and I will see you in my upcoming videos. So I have one where I'll be sharing my um, scavenger hunt uh, completed pages as well as working on another uh, treasure coloring scavenger hunt and uh, yeah so stay tuned for those exciting things thank you have a great day bye guys